Now that Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is nearing 1 billion at the box office worldwide with, with each and every day that passes by, a lot of fans are very intrigued and curious about the future of the Star Wars franchise and where things are going by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that this movie was a very important film to Disney and Lucasfilm, at least on how it performs at the box office, to determine whether or not the future of the Star Wars franchise will be either bright or dark for the Star Wars community, and so far the box office results are pretty decent for The Rise of Skywalker, whether or not it's going to earn the same amount worldwide speaking as The Last Jedi did is still a big mystery you know, on the table right now that is going to be answered answered later down the road once we get closer and closer to when the film begins to exit out of the theaters and transition to other forms of media like Blu-ray, 4K, streaming, you name it. Now on top of all of this, a lot of fans have been very curious about the character of Luke Skywalker. Now in case you guys did not know, Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing a brand new Star Wars universe. Essentially, this brand new Star Wars universe is going to be modeled after the MCU, in which every single Star Wars project in the future is going to connect with another Star Wars project, which is a big risky thing because at the end of the day, Star Wars is not Marvel, and so it really is going to be a big risk by Disney to see if it actually works or not. However, on top of all of this, what's rather exciting about Mark Hamill is that it's explained that both Disney and Lucasfilm are currently developing a brand new Star Wars universe after the release of The Rise of Skywalker and are creating an entire roadmap of projects to come for the future of the franchise that will be officially announced this August over at Star Wars Celebration. Now, it's said that Kathleen Kennedy and Bob Iger came up with the idea of developing this new universe that would bring the return of many fan-favorite characters on Disney+, Plus and in the form of future films to come. It's explained that one of the big plans by Disney and Lucasfilm is to bring back actor Mark Hamill to reprise his role as Jedi Master Luke Skywalker on Disney+, Plus, which is of course their streaming service and home to many live-action TV series to come in the future. Now, it's explained that Disney's big plan is to bring back Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker in some way, shape, or form that will satisfy many fans and that this is their way to make it up to the fans of how little Luke they got in The Rise of Skywalker due to the reshoots and the rewrites. Currently, Disney is in the middle of developing 10 years worth of Star Wars projects, both live action and animated, for the Star Wars franchise, and that one or two of those projects will be a place for actor Mark Hamill to reprise his role as Luke Skywalker once more. This is a decision made between Kennedy and Bob Iger to expand many of the beloved characters from the originals and the prequels, and that there are talks of Mark Hamill making a cameo appearance on the second season of The Mandalorian, where de-aging technology will be used and applied to Mark Hamill to give a glimpse into Luke's life post-Return of the Jedi, since the Mandalorian TV series takes place some years after Episode 6. It's also said that they are in the talks of developing a young Luke Skywalker TV series and are in negotiations of bringing back either Mark Hamill or somebody else to portray Luke Skywalker in his younger years. Now, Disney Plus is actually said to be Disney's big focus right now before they get back into the movies, and that even once the three new Star Wars films release, they will eventually be releasing two Star Wars TV shows a year as a way to expand the franchise and to create a library's worth of Star Wars material. Now, many fans were very let down with how Luke was treated in The Last Jedi, and with the backlash from the fans against the film, Disney and Lucasfilm are trying their best to make it up to the fans to provide a satisfying piece of Luke Skywalker on Disney Plus in multiple ways, and that Kathleen Kennedy even said in a recent interview that they are not done with the Skywalkers just yet. This all applies to Disney+, Plus, which is going to be the home of Star Wars TV shows that will be based off of many Star Wars Legends lore, with both Kenobi and Luke now said to make a cameo in The Mandalorian Season 2 to tease future TV series of those characters, Disney and Lucasfilm are also focused on developing their new Star Wars movies that will bring in brand a brand new mythology. That this will also be Disney's way of expanding more and many new single characters from the EU as well for the new Star Wars universe. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, obviously, this seems like Disney is very desperate at this point to satisfy the fans. 
Now, a lot of fans out there would agree or disagree with this decision on whether or not this would fix the character of Luke. I, for one, think that it would at least fix a piece of Luke Skywalker, but what's done is done with the sequel trilogy, right? If you guys, including myself, don't like how Luke was used in The Last Jedi, in which I did not, What's done is done. There's no fixing that unless Disney erases that film from history and reshoots the movie, which is not going to happen. So, this is their attempt at restoring elements of Luke's life, giving us a view of Luke's life after the events of Return of the Jedi. They're in talks with Mark Hamill of reprising his role as Luke Skywalker in the form of a cameo in The Mandalorian Season 2, and even other projects out there. I don't know if you guys heard about this, but there's also a couple of rumors that have been floating around that they're developing an animated TV series that would focus on both Luke, Han, and Leia post-Return of the Jedi. So I could see them, you know, having Mark Hamill voice Luke Skywalker in that TV show, perhaps. They're also apparently developing a Dr. Afro animated TV series, which is based off of the iconic comic book character on Dis under Disney, in case you guys have not been following. Dr. Aphra, to say the very least here without spoiling anything, is a character closely as associated with Luke at certain segments. Now, the thing with this, alright, of having Mark Hamill come back as Luke Skywalker in some way, shape, or form, and to continue on with the Skywalkers is a big deal. Obviously, Disney Plus is very successful so far. In fact, it has been so successful to the point where they plan on making two Star Wars movies a year at some point in time in the future. The Mandalorian has been a very, you know, good TV show. I think that they did a fantastic job with everything so far with how they have, you know, crafted this new universe that is all based, you know, after the end of the Empire and after the events of Return of the Jedi. Very interesting, you know, uh, era of Star Wars that is now officially being explored. Not just with, of course, The Mandalorian, but also with future live-action TV series as well. So, everything related to Mark Hamill here, let me just say this, is that Mark really deserved a lot better in both The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens, as well as The Rise of Skywalker. Now, The Rise of Skywalker, we got little to no Luke. I mean, sure, we got his Force Ghost scene, and sure, we got that little flashback segment, but compared to what they actually had Luke in for before the reshoots were made, we had a lot more segments of Luke for Episode 9 that were going to be a part of this movie. Same exact thing goes for The Last Jedi. Now, when we look at Mark Hamill as a Luke, obviously Mark Hamill had better ideas of how Luke should have been used and how he disagreed with Ryan Johnson and how he later, you know, said that, you know, Luke really deserved a lot better. This is not my Luke Skywalker, as Mark once said. And with that being said, obviously, Disney and Lucasfilm, they are now in an act of desperation. They are really trying to fix and save the character of Luke as we talked about a couple of days ago. You guys may have missed it, but they have this plan in place to fix the character of Luke. And by bringing back Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker in multiple different ways on Disney Plus is their attempt at doing so. And that's a big deal because obviously Luke Skywalker, a very well known Star Wars character, a lot of fans love him, a lot of fans have been with this character since 1977, you know, a lot of fans grew up with him, and so we deserved more. For Luke in the sequel trilogy. There's no doubt about that. And the fact that they're going to now test things with Disney Plus and Luke Skywalker and how that's all going to be utilized is a big step by Disney. It really is. It's a big risk as well because a lot of fans, you know, may not want to see something like that, but there's also a lot of fans that do want to see something like that. Disney Plus really is going to be the home of Disney experimenting with all these different Star Wars characters that we are either familiar with or not familiar with, such as brand new characters like The Mandalorian and like Cassian Andor, who was a part of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, who's getting his own TV show as well. Why he's getting his own TV show is beyond me. I feel that it should have been somebody else, maybe like Jyn Erso or... Maybe, you know, something around those lines. But anyways, moving on forward, like I say, I think the fact that they're focusing on core characters is a very good move, like Obi-Wan Kenobi, how they're also in the talks of bringing back Mace Windu in his own TV series, you name it. So, with that being said, guys, I would like to hear what each and every one of you have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.